Hello, everybody. Thank you. I'm um, Michelle Carrington, also my first moot, so be kind again. Um, so today I'm going to talk to you about Open Studio and how it can promote collaborative learning and student connection. So I'm just going to go through uh, the background and features really quickly. I'm going to look at some examples of use, how we use it at the Open University. Um, I'm going to look at some research as a general and then focus in on a level one module that we looked at in health and social care and then go through some of the enhancements based on some of the feedback that we've received. So the Open University supports up to 200,000 students at any one time. Um, we know from research that independent online study can leave students feeling lonely and isolated. There can be issues with engagement and motivation, um, which ultimately can lead to some students leaving their course before they finish their qualification. So in 2016, we developed Open Studio, which is an online design studio type space where students can upload their multimedia content into a um, informal, sort of um, shared collaborative area. So we hoped by allowing that sort of space that it might help encourage student connection and that peer learning and collaboration. So just to run over some of the features in Open Studio, students can share their work with other students at either whole course level, they can choose to share with their tutor groups or whichever designated group they have. They can share purely with their tutor, or they can decide to build their own private portfolio of work as well. Students can create collections of work, exhibitions, uh, through the use of folders. Um, and they can upload all their content in multimedia type formats. They can mix with globe, uh, students on a global level. They can provide comments, they can provide feedback and use the social interactions, so there are social media inspired interactions um, which we hope drive engagement and student connection. And this plugin is mobile responsive, so students can upload their, so upload their work uh, directly from their mobile device if they choose to. So as I said, it was originally intended to be a design studio, but since then its use has diversified. Um, we have many different subjects using Open Studio now for many different re for many different things um, and over many different levels as well. So in our upcoming October presentations, we have over 100 modules using Open Studio, um, and that, as I said, due to start next month. So some examples of use here. These images are taken directly from our modules, although I should say this is using the OU sort of styling, so it won't look like this if you had the open source version, um, but it still has the same features. So we have modules here using the preset activity type feature where they can upload content to preset slots. Or we have students that also are allowed to just upload to the, to the studio space freely. Uh, so this example here is a, uh, from, taken from a business module where students are building a learning journal. Uh, we have science modules using it where they um, take uh, photos of the experiments that they've been doing and upload their findings and their presentations. This is an IT-based um, module where students are sharing solutions to problems, critiquing each other's work and uploading um, new solutions based on the feedback that they've received. The originally intended design studio, I don't quite know why there are bananas, I didn't look into the activity, but there are. Uh, and this one is a STEM conference where students shared posters that they were asked to design, to design. So some other examples we've got is a really visual representation of show me what, what religion means to you in an arts module. We have visual essays in business um, modules where students are asked to upload a recorded PowerPoint presentation um, or embedded YouTube videos. Um, icebreaker type activities, this example is, you know, what does care mean to you? Um, graduation poster competitions in the careers and employability area and show and tell type um, activities for prospective students or students between study. So you can see it's really diverse now, not just the design studio. And there's many more examples as well that, I, <laughs> that would take me all day to go through. 
So there's been lots of academic research um, carried out um, on Open Studio since 2016. Um, it shows a link between sort of uh, Open Studio and improved skills and uh, skills development student success. There's some of them listed there. There have been some prior as well, but they wouldn't easily fit on the slide. <laughs> Um, so, really, most of these showed common findings when it came to um, the results. So, just to a, a really sort of broad overview. So, all, all studies really showed a high level stu of student engagement. Where there were critiquing or feedback type activities, um, on the whole, students reported that their level of skill and work had improved as a result of the feedback that they received from their peers. They really learnt through comparing and contrasting their work, observing different perspectives, and in some cases, as per that IT module, um, learning what not to do or how to solve problems as well. And it did enable students to connect with other students through the use of the commenting feature and the social interactions as well. The majority of students actually enjoyed this different approach to, to learning as opposed to the sort of the standard um, study experience that they may well have had in the past. And across the board, it showed that it supported transferable skills. So there's some examples there, again, varied from subject to subject, depending on what the activities were. Um, but receiving feedback and incorporating into their own sort of self-development was one um, that was quite significant. And it also helps students to place complex theories and concepts into everyday context. Um, and some, in some um, examples, they were also able to apply those um, theories as well to their work. So this leads us on to the most recent scholarship that, was, that finished last year. And this was looking at a level one introdu introduction to health and social care module. Um, I was actively involved in this through data collection and analysis. So this module has a really high number of students. So at the time this was done, it had over 2,000 students. However, they do have two intakes a year. So over the year, there was about 5,000 students on that module. Um, it's a module that has a high proportion of neurodivergent students or students where English isn't their first language. So some of these students um, need more support than, the, than other students. Uh, a, a lot of them have had limited prior study. Um, so traditional study methods have proved difficult for students on this sort of level module in the past. The module team wanted a collaborative activity to support retention. One of their strategic aims in this module was to improve retention from start to finish. Um, they'd, had, uh, they'd previously tried other collaborative activities in the previous module that had a really low um, level of student engagement and a really low level of student satisfaction as well. So they wanted to bring Open Studio in as a, a sort of a softer way to introduce collaborative learning. So their aim was to um, encourage and, uh, sorry, engage and encourage development of communication skills for employability and develop foundation steps in peer learning. So again, a lot of these findings for this were quite common with all of the other past results, but I've just picked out some slight differences, which could be attributed to the fact it's a level one module and the diverse nature of the students as well. So first of all, the students felt like they overcame some IT ch challenges and some barriers. So it was a different type of software that they were used to using in the past. And the feedback we had was, yes, we found it challenging, but actually in quite a good way. And it really helped me to, I feel like I developed. They also felt they built self-confidence, so not only by overcoming challenges, such as the IT challenges there, um, but they also used sort of the checking and comparing um, in a way that it was validating their own uploads, I suppose. So um, if they were a bit unsure about what they were supposed to be uploading, they'd go onto Open Studio, have a look, see what other students were uploading to make sure that they were on the right track. They did find a global connection, and I've just pulled this out, again, similar to previous, but um, I actually interviewed a Polish student who um, said that she was able to use Open Studio to find other Polish students, and she connected with them. She really enjoyed that about using the plugin. They really felt like they had control over their learning, so rather than being a really um, structured and um, sort of rigid task. They were given the freedom to choose their uploads, choose what they wanted to post, 
um, and they felt it, it, it made it, they could be a lot more creative. They enjoyed the visual multimodal approach to learning, so where um, these students may have found, again, the more traditional um, ways of study um, more difficult. They actually really enjoyed this way. It meant they weren't reading huge chunks of text. They weren't writing essays. Um, and they were able to, to view the, the, um, the other students' posts. There was a real value identified in passive peer learning from the research team. So um, there were, where students didn't quite feel confident enough to make comments, they actually went onto the studio, read other students' comments on other posts, and they took information from there. So there was students here from sort of healthcare settings, childcare settings, and social care. And they really found it valuable to look at care from all of those different perspectives, rather than just having that one blank view of a childcare setting, for example. However, that did lead to some disappointment from some students, where there were students taking a more passive approach, meant that other students didn't receive any comments. So there was some demotivation um, from that respect. However, the engagement in this activity was a lot higher than uh, the engagement in the, pre in the prior um, collaborative activity, which was a real positive. So what have we done? Uh, we do listen. <laughs> we do make improvements based on all of this feedback. Um, so the first thing really that we've um, done since this scholarship is we, is we made it a lot easier for students to add comments and to provide social interaction on posts. So some of the people that I interviewed and some of my colleagues interviewed said that actually I was going to comment, but it took me more than one click or more than two clicks, so I didn't bother. So we've made that really uh, you know, easier for students to do so. We've also updated and improved the guidance throughout the studio um, to improve that retention of students throughout the life of the module and to um, improve use throughout the life of the module. Um, Again, hopefully reducing frustrations and making it easier to use for students as well. So there was some anxiety identified where students were a bit unsure who they were sharing their work with or if their fellow students would be able to see their work. So we've made it a lot clearer for students to, and, and actually they have to make an active choice as to who they want to share their work with. And we've also um, allowed for the ability to filter by um, specific activity rather than a whole block exercise. So again, where students were given um, a task where they had to sort of comment on a particular activity, sometimes they found it difficult to find those posts. So in doing this, we hope it's, it's a lot easier for students. And again, it is worth reiterating, this is an open source plugin, so it can be added to any Moodle environment via GitHub. And you can find Open Studio on GitHub there. You can find me on LinkedIn. If you are using Open Studio, it'd be great to hear at some point um, afterwards how you're using it and how you find it. But otherwise, thank you very much.